world of COVID has really done a great job putting places out of business. And the most shocking thing that has gone out of business to me happens to be in this parking lot. Um, this is a smaller mall, much smaller. See, I don't remember what was in this, but they knocked the whole place down. They really did. Wow. I don't even remember what was in there. It was something. It used to be a video store a long time ago. And then the video store, which was part in here too, the video store moved to this gray building here. This part that I'm, that's right in front of you. Um, but it closed a long time ago too. It couldn't compete with like Hollywood video back then. And uh, it went out of business a long, long time ago. But the most shocking thing that went out of business in this parking lot to me is the 7-Eleven. I did not think that a 7-Eleven or a convenience store of any kind would fall victim to the COVID but it looks like it did. Um, I don't know if that's the reason that it closed, but I know that the last time I was actually in this place during COVID, that I was the only one in there, um, customer or employee alike, who was wearing a mask. Everything was sticky to the touch. Um, even walking around on the floor, it's like the whole thing had been covered with, so with uh, soda on the floor, but yeah, the store closed. It's not the only 7-Eleven in the city that is closed either. There's a few others in Portland that closed. Um, yeah, it's, it's gutted. Absolutely gutted. You can see by my arm, <laughs> it's gutted. Um, Totally got it inside. But uh, yeah, so it's just the sh most shocking thing. There's a lot of small little businesses in this air in this little mall. Really, the one that I thought would have went under was the billiard shop right in front of you. Um, I don't know how they make money. <laughs> I don't. Know. I don't know how they stay open. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's still some trucks here because these places are all still in business. Look at that. But the 7-Eleven that always had people in it, always had people in it. I don't think there was ever a time, really, maybe a few moments out of a day when the place was just, all the place had was the, the employee in it. It always had people in there. Didn't survive COVID. And again, maybe that's not what closed it down. Maybe it was the graffiti <laughs> that is all over the damn city. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this like this boarded up window here. This is regular now in Portland. The graffiti and the boarded up windows are all over the place. Um, it looks like this is a nail place. It's it's not doing well either. That's too bad. There are always people in here too. I didn't know this place would close now. Huh. But I guess kind of would have had to. They probably can knock the whole place down, honestly. But yeah, I don't remember what was here. What was here? I don't remember what was here. I know there used to be a ditch here that was a lot deeper than it looked. Because on one rainy day, I stepped in it thinking it was just going to be like, not even up to, you know, the rubber part of my shoe. And I fell in waist deep. <laughs> and then I walked 
lost, as you say, through this uh, video store right here in front of you that isn't, hasn't been a video store in like 25 years. But yeah, there's still a dance studio over here. Um, that looks like it's got people. That's cool. But yeah, I don't know. I don't even remember what was in this. This looks closed down too. I don't know. I don't know. Just everything is closing up because of. And as we're, you know, getting more and more people are getting vaccinated, the closures seem to be accelerating. It's, it's just, I know they've, they've, hard, they've had to deal with trying to pay rent with a decreased customer base for so long, it's like they can't do it anymore. I don't know. But yeah, another COVID closure, another abandoned place. Thanks for joining me.